Hi, I'm Marie from Live Oak Coaching and I'm here to talk to you today about your domain name and web host. Now understand these are the two, probably in the beginning, these are probably the two most important things you're going to decide uh, for your online business. So you want to choose correctly. You want to make the right choice because um, if you don't, you might have a huge headache down the road. And so hopefully with some of these hints, I'll be able to help you out. As far as a domain name, um, you want to make it catchy and memorable so that your user uh, will be able to find you easily or you know, it, it might draw them to you because of, of just something that's catchy and memorable. I know for me, I tend to do that. I'm like, oh, that's kind of a cool name. I gotta go check that out. Um, you also wanna make it shorter uh, rather than longer. I wouldn't go more than 20 characters. And you wanna speak to your niche or niche. I say niche, I like niche better, it's easier to say. Um, and also you wanna make sure that you don't use symbols in there. You don't wanna have hyphens or dots or period. Um, or numbers because it'll confuse your user or they don't they won't remember to put in the hyphen and they won't find you or uh, They won't remember to use the dot or they might spell out five when you're using uh, the symbol number five Also, you want to make sure that you use correct spelling uh, For whatever it is your whatever words you're doing in your domain or keywords actually and I know you can spell your name correctly and extensions. Um, .com is still important. Uh, well, not really so much, but for you it could be, especially if you you want to use your name or you might anticipate using your name in the future. You want to make sure that you, uh, if there's a .com available, you should buy it and hold on to it or use it. But there are other extensions now that you can use. Um, they're called TLDs, Top Level Domains. And on my blog post, I do have a link to uh, the current ones. Um, there's some cool ones. There's dot tech. Who knows? There could be dot plumber. Uh, so keep that in mind too. It could make your name a little catchier by doing a fancy uh, dot extension at the end. Um, also get input. You want to have input uh, from your friends and family. And just so make sure you're not too much in your head and it's really weird that whatever you picked and you think it's okay. So I'm always, I'm always about oh, run it past other people. And if you're still having a hard time and you're not able to come up with anything, I do have some tools, uh, links to some tools on my blog post. But just to let you know, there's one called a lean domain search. And there's bust a name. And then there's also name stall. Now about your web host, uh, you want to make sure that uh, their speed and their uptime are reliable. And I, you know, I like to see what other people are saying about them too. So I'll do my research that way as well, because you may not know they might have a nice web page and uh, they could sell you there because that's what they're designed for. But I, I like to see what other people are saying about them too. So do your research there. And also you need to, um, well, you gotta understand that speed's important because you want your website to load quickly because people now, when they're doing their research, your users, they have a shortest attention span. If it's taking too long, they're out of there. And also your uptime, because if your uh, host is crashing all the time and they're getting some weird message when they try to access your website, um, they're gonna move on and that's lost opportunity for you. So you wanna make sure that they're that they're up and reliable. Because um, you'll probably know when they're gonna go down, if they're gonna do maintenance, and you want them to do maintenance because you want them to have a reliable service for you. Also, you need to decide if you want shared or dedicated server. Um, if you're just starting out, shared is probably fine because your website's not that big and initially you're not gonna have that much traffic. Um, you're gonna be working on that, of course. If you have an, a more mature website that's been around and it's, it's larger with more content and a lot of traffic, you might want to consider dedicated. And just keep in mind though that dedicated is going to cost you more than a shared one. Also, um, a provider like HostGator is really good if you are just starting out. Uh, they have uh, where you can buy the domain and your hosting all in one place and they have a nice cPanel, makes everything easy. They have good customer service and uh, this one is highly reputable and, it, and this is the one that I use. 
I hope you found this helpful and if I can be of any service to you, please check out my website, liveoakcoaching.com. There is a link on my post. Also, um, if you go there, you can sign up for my free videos and there'll be some other stuff coming out later on once you get on my list. So I hope you have a great day and God bless and we'll see you on my next video. Take care.